Republican senators voted on Tuesday to formally silence a Democratic colleague for impugning a peer, Senator Jeff Sessions of Alabama, by condemning his nomination for Attorney General while reading a letter from Coretta Scott King. Senator Elizabeth Warren, Democrat of Massachusetts, had been holding forth on the Senate floor on the eve of Mr. Sessions' expected confirmation vote reciting a 1986 letter from Mrs. King that criticized Mr. Sessions's record on civil rights. Sensing a stirring beside her, Ms. Warren suddenly stopped herself and scanned the chamber. Across the room, Senator Mitch McConnell, the majority leader, had stepped forward with an objection, setting off an extraordinary confrontation in the Capitol and silencing a colleague, procedurally, in the throes of a contentious debate over President Trump's cabinet nominee. The senator has impugned the motives and conduct of our colleague from Alabama, as warned by the chair. Mr. McConnell began, alluding to Mrs. King's letter, which accused Mr. Sessions of using the awesome power of his office to chill the pre-exercise of the vote by black citizens. Mr. McConnell called the Senate to order under what is known as Rule 19 which prohibits debating senators from ascribing to another senator or to other senators any conduct or motive unworthy or unbecoming a senator. When Mr. McConnell concluded, Ms. Warren said she was surprised that the words of Coretta Scott King are not suitable for debate in the United States Senate. She asked to continue her remarks. Mr. McConnell objected. Objection is heard, said Senator Steve Daines, Republican of Montana, who was presiding in the chamber at the time. The senator will take her seat. The debate appeared to center, in part, on whether the rule allowed exemptions for quoted remarks Ms. Warren had been reading directly from the letter from Mrs. King, the widow of Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. to demean a sitting senator. From New York Times, its news exposed signing off.